Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S9 Plus and if you may know that the One UI 7 ported ROM for the Galaxy S9, Galaxy S9 Plus and Galaxy Note 9 got released thanks to the developer who did a hard work porting the ROM for these three mobile phone or for these three variants which was launched back in 2018 and we can update these three variants to the latest 2025 One UI 7 and White 5. I already flashed this ROM on Galaxy Note 9 and I have checked the ROM. ROM is outstanding. Very fam, very good, excellent, without lag, no bugs right now till until I found. And uh, I have also uploaded a, a review video of the One UI 7 ROM working on Galaxy Note 9. So today I'm going to flash the One UI 7 ROM on Galaxy S9 Plus. But remember, if you have any of these variants, S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, you can flash the ROM, but your phone must have an Exynos chipset. So watch the further video for flashing tutorial. So before going ahead, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, click or tap the subscribe button, click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. So we have to do few steps before flashing any custom ROM. Right now, my Galaxy S9 Plus is having a stock firmware. First of all, connect Wi-Fi on your mobile phone and then go to settings. Then check the software update. If your mobile phone is not updated, update the mobile phone to the last stock firmware. In my case, my mobile phone software is up to date. After checking the update, go back to the settings screen. Then go to about phone. Well, my mobile phone model number is G965F. This is the dual SIM set. So both I mean numbers present over here. Galaxy S9 Plus. I will tap the software information. Currently, my mobile phone is having a latest stock firmware, which is One UI version 2.5 Android 10. This is the kernel version and the build number. If you can see that VG7. Tap the build number for seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to turn on the developer mode. Now go back to settings, then go to developer options and check OEM unlocking must be turned on. In case if the OEM unlocking is off, then turn it on before flashing the custom recovery. Then go back and go to accounts backup. In case if you are having Samsung account, sync your Samsung account, then must remove it sync your google account once and then must remove it to avoid issues later on then go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe now you have to check the mobile phone battery it is supposed to be charged because if the if the mobile phone battery is below 30 percent just charge the mobile phone to avoid issues save all the internal storage data otherwise data will get formatted in case if you have any imported messages or in case if your recent call list is imported for you, then make a backup. There are plenty uh, applications available on the Play Store backing up the uh, recent call list and messages. If you have done all these things, simply power off the mobile phone. So here is my downloaded folder and we have to download all these files. Yes, the TWRP 3.7.09. This is the particular TWRP recovery version we will install on the mobile phone. To flash the Noble ROM One UI 7, do not flash the lower version of the TWRP. And we have to flash the TWRP patch also. Patch TWRP after flashing the recovery. This is the Noble ROM. And Odin doesn't matter if the Odin you have 3.13 or 3.14. And this is the public beta, the first public beta version of the One UI 7, but almost stable. Wallpaper, picker, smart view, DAX, and this is the fix, fix files, the brightness, and these files can be installed on only on S9 and S9 Plus. And uh, the universal repartition and the cleaner file. First of all, extract the Odin. One important thing that if you haven't installed the Samsung Android USB driver on your Windows, I will provide the link in my video description. Download the Samsung Android USB driver and install it on your Windows. So the Windows will detect the mobile phone easily. If you already having it, then there is no need to reinstall. And one more thing that all the files links are available in my video description. Now, after extracting the Odin file, open the extracted folder of the Odin. Then double click the Odin file to open the Odin. 
click OK on this pop-up window and Odin, click any slot. I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click to select the TWRP file 3.7.09. Double click to select the file. The Odin is almost ready. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off. Now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume down key, Bixby key and power key. All three keys at same time. Volume down, Bixby key and power key. In few seconds you will see a warning screen. Release all three keys at once. Then press the volume up key once to boot into Odin mode. Press the volume up key once again to light up the screen. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. Must see that KG status shows checking. If it is showing pre-normal, then the recovery will not get flash. Now you need to check the data cable. Uh, the data cable must be a good quality one. Do not use a old data cable. And uh, check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. So the Odin will detect the mobile phone. You can see that. The COM4 means that the Odin detected the mobile phone. On Odin, click Options, untick the Auto Reboot, then go back, then come down and click Start. So recovery got flash. Pass means that recovery done. Click Reset, click Exit, then go back to Downloaded folder and coming back towards the mobile phone. The phone is still booted into Odin mode. Now we have to boot the phone into Custom Recovery. Check the data cable must be connected. Do not disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone. Now we have to press all four keys. Hold the mobile phone in this way. It is proper way to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Press the uh, press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, big speed key and power key. Make sure to press all the buttons properly. When set reboots, first release the volume down key. Then when Samsung logo appears, then release the power key. And then after a few seconds, release the volume up key and big speed key. So the phone will boot into TWRP recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. Then tap wipe, tap format data, type Y, E, S, then tap here. Then go back to main screen. So the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen. Now go to the downloaded folder and first of all copy the patch TWRP recovery file from the downloaded folder and uh, then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone. Paste the patch TWRP recovery file on the internal storage. Then come to the mobile phone screen tap install then select the TWRP patch recovery file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it. So the patch recovery file got flash go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery. If the mobile shows no OS install doesn't matter just swipe to reboot. Swipe to allow modifications the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen go to the downloaded folder and now First of all, copy the repartitioner file from the downloaded folder. Go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the repartitioner file on the internal storage. Then come to the mobile phone screen, tap install, select the repartitioner file by tapping on it and swipe to confirm uh, flash. So the flashing will get started and the mobile phone will automatically reboot when the flashing of the repartition file done. So I have to allow modifications. Then we have to do the format data after flashing the repartition file. So tap Y and tap format data. Type Y, E, S and tap here. When done, then go back to main screen. And uh, internal storage will get appears on your computer screen. Go to the downloaded folder and copy the cleaner file from the downloaded folder and go to your internal storage of the mobile phone paste the file here then come to the mobile phone screen tap install select the cleaner file by tapping on it and then swipe to confirm flash so the mobile phone will reboot automatically once again when it is done 
swipe to allow modifications the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen go to the downloaded folder and copy all the three fix file the brightness fix the smart view dax the wallpaper picker fix and the rom file from the downloaded folder and then go to your internal storage of the mobile phone and paste all the files on the internal storage it will take a time so we have to wait here now so the files got copied on my internal storage right now i am done from the computer coming back towards the mobile phone screen i can disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone and then unlocking the twrp screen swipe to unlock now tap settings then go to third menu and make the screen time out to maximum then go back to the main screen tap install and select the rom file first do not flash the fix file first right we have to flash the rom file first tap to select the noble rom 5.0 and then uh, swipe to start flashing tap here read carefully and check the box then tap next yes i will select clean install do not go for the dirty flash otherwise you will get uh, bugs and lags select the clean install and then tap next if your variant is of the korea then select the korean csc otherwise leave the selection rest of world csc tap next then choose csc based on your country look for your country i have select my country by tapping on it and then tap next now here you can see that there are two options provided advanced deep load and no deep load want to keep all the samsung bloat with a slight deep load i will select the first one and then i will tap next increase image quality to 100 percent enable multi-user disable etc etc if you like to have these thing any of it you can select i am not going to install these any of these so i will just simply tap next now here you can see just read all the options provided over here and then select if you want to install like i want a call recorder so i will tap here to select the call recorder and all other rest thing i do not like to have on my mobile phone with the rom i just select the call recorder but you can do your own selection tap next bixby button remapper open camera take screenshot etc etc whatever you like to have just go for it i will select take screenshot next do you want to enable dex mode on phone's display i do not want that so i will select no choose the level of animations i will not make any changes over here i will leave the selection like this choose the boot animation yes i want one ui 7 boot animation which is already selected choose emojis i will not change anything and here also i do not want to change anything just tap next i will continue choose routing method i do not like to have a root on my rom so i so the banking application will not have any issues i will select no root but remember if you want to install good log then you need to have a root otherwise the good log will not work with the unroot rom right so i do not want to install good logs now i will select no root and tap next the flashing will get started okay flashing done you can see that script succeeded result was 1.00 done now uh, tap next so the screen will go back to the main recovery screen go back then we have to flash the fix file start the flashing the fix file from the brightness Tap the noble brightness fix file first then swipe to start flashing it. When done then go back once again and tap the smart dex fix swipe. Done. Tap back once then select the wallpaper fix swipe. Done. Now tap wipe cache and Dalvik swipe. Done. Then retap reboot system. The mobile phone will stay on little while on the galaxy s9 plus logo then it will start booting to the one ui 7 rom
the mobile phone restart and then it start booting to the one ui 7 ported rom i thought i will have to boot to the recovery to do the format data but now it is booting so things look to me okay finally first boot completed and the one ui 7 welcome screen got appears on my mobile phone well this is a big surprise that the oldest galaxy s9 plus which was uh, really launched back in 2018 finally got updated to the latest 2025 rom now complete the setup screen the rom is ported from the galaxy s24 plus and the s9 plus finally got the one ui 7 control settings panel this is the new control setting panels that uh, s9 plus also got this is not the official update but still we can enjoy using the one ui 7 and one ui 7 features on the galaxy s9 plus just scroll to from the left side to the right side so the notification center will come up on the screen again scroll from the right side to the left side it will go back to the control settings panel i will tap the settings then i will go to about phone and this time you can see that the mobile product name is galaxy s9 plus but the model number got changed now i got s926 p which is of the s24 plus model number because the rom is ported from the s24 plus both i mean numbers present over here i will tap the software information now you can see that the s9 plus is got updated from one ui 2.5 to the one ui 7.0 from android 10 to the android 15 the google play system update showing first fab 2025 the kernel version and the build number is the noble rom version 5.0 and definitely you will going to like this rom in case if you are having exynos galaxy s9 or s9 plus or note 9 must install the rom check it out this is the menu screen and these are the applications currently pre-installed with the coming with the rom so do not forget to like the video and thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye